Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood, and I want to apologize in advance for the Haruko battle because it crapped out. Yeah. So basically, we're going to start off here right outside the gym battle. Hello. It's me. Did you find anything about Landon or May? Oops, forgot to ask, but I did kill two dragons. That's besides the point. Stop wasting time slaying monsters and find my daughter and your brother. Okay, okay, I'll ask around. Someone here will know something. See to it that you do. Click. Hmm, maybe I should ask around the houses first. First, I'm going to heal. So, yeah, basically, after we find out what we got to find out, I'll give you guys the whole detail of what happened. <clears throat> Hey, have you seen my brother by any chance? He's the Pokemon champion. I'm looking for him. Oh yeah, he surfed over here a couple of weeks ago. Now with May. Said he found something. Said he'd found something amazing up in the desert. And was going back for it. Thanks, kid. Now let's see. Calling Birch. Hero. It's me. I found a clue. Huh? What is it? Where's the desert? Surf east, then north to Slayport, then go north through Mallville. The desert's just north of there. Thanks. Click. Damn, I sound so awesomely cryptic there. Now let's go. So yeah, what happened was, was that it crashed on me, but this is how the battle went. I threw out ball toy first. You self-destruct because there's no point of having them. Then I threw out secret egg. Stalled for a bit until I got through a shinx and he threw out a sneasel on me. I went into I went into um, Dobermon and then basically I continued to howl and heal myself up until I was maxed out and just swept through with Mach Punch until her final Pokemon, King Madio. Yeah. Basically, a Pokemon with Wonder Guard and no weakness. So you have to wait for it to stall out. At level 1, it took 30 minutes to do it. I wanted to cry. I wanted to stop the video, go to the store, buy 3 gallons of ice cream, 7 pounds of chocolate, and cry myself for the, to sleep for the next 3 days. That's how bad it was. And there is, and that right there is an example of a Pokemon design gone wrong. But yeah, I was that upset. Ah, uh, Telson. I don't know what that is. Let me write that down. Okay, got it written down. A Telson. Hold on, guys. I'll have to look that up for you guys. Uh, it's basically, uh, as I could see, just a palette swap of an actual of an actual cool fish. But because it's a fake mon, I'll stick its stats there. So, hey, we found ourselves a medical kit. But first, let's fight. So I want to apologize for that, guys. It crapped out, and I didn't notice it in a crapped out after I saved. Yeah, because normally I do the videos in portions and put them all together to guarantee that they'll work. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I clicked a button by accident or if I did something stupid, but it didn't load. And actually, thankfully, it didn't load. I mean, I wanted it to load because I wanted you guys to see how god-awful King Mario was. But I'm very glad it didn't load because you guys would be sitting here forever. Watching a battle with a level 1 Pokemon with no weakness and Wonder Guard. It was that bad. I wanted to cry. There's one thing I've noticed in this hack. You miss a lot more. The opponents tend to get more crits and status elements tend to come by faster. Paralysis tends to affect you more often. And for lastly, you sleep the whole fucking five turns. So yeah, this hack is very unfair to the player.
But if you do this, uh uh, it don't matter, man. It don't matter. It's annoying. So in this battle, well, when you battle these people, the only thing they're going to do is spam Surf with Line in, and then spam Endure, Protect, and Toxic on a Pokemon to try to Toxie stall you. But as long as you have two Pokemon, you'd be bound to overwhelm and you won't have to worry about it. So yeah, that'll be it, guys.